You can see a police officer still guarding the scene here, right in front of the Merrimack Fire Department. Now, according to the fire department, it was five minutes after midnight when a car heading south on the Daniel Webster Highway at a high rate of speed went through two guardrails and ended up in the Sauhegan River. The fire department estimates that the car flew about 160 feet and while in the air rotated 180 degrees. Inside the car at the time, the driver and a dog. Now the fire department had to use a boat to get to the car and cut off two doors to get the man out. He was then taken by boat eventually to an ambulance and eventually then to a dart helicopter which transported the man to the Elliott with life-threatening injuries. Now as far as the dog, the dog appears to be in good shape according to the fire department and is currently at the uh, Merrimack Police Department in a crate uh, waiting for the animal control officer. Now you may recall we were at the same scene uh, just two months ago in a similar situation. There another driver was heading south on the DW Highway when she hit a utility pole in front of the fire department and crashed onto a spillway to the Sauhegan River. That woman also taken to the hospital with critical injuries. Now we do have a call into the uh, Bedford Police Department to try to find out what started this whole incident. So far, we haven't heard back. Reporting live in Merrimack, Ray Brewer, WMUR News Sign.